Okay, last time we talked about my one survival knife that I would not sell. And before that, we talked about my one bushcrafting knife. Now it's time to talk about my one camp knife. And this might actually be a little bit of cheating, but I think that this does qualify as a camp knife. And so if I had to get rid of all the other camp knives that I had, the SE6 would be the one that stayed around. Okay, without any further ado, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon and the Instagram. It all the support means a ton and it helps the channel out a lot. Okay, now let's jump right into it. Okay, so like I said, the one camp knife that I would choose to stay if I had to get rid of the rest would be the SE6. Now this is a pretty plain Jane SE6. It's not as flashy or cool as some of the other ones. It doesn't have the 3D textured handles, but honestly, I really do love the plain Jane kind of bone stock SE6. These flat handles are still plenty contoured and very comfortable. And the SE6 for me, I think has to be my camp knife just because when I think about camp knives, I. When I think about camp knives, I think of a knife that doesn't exactly have a true or one specific task. So when we talk about things like the BRK Bushcrafter or the uh, Chris Reeve Knives Pacific, they are dedicated knives that are designed to do specific tasks. The Bushcrafter is really pointed at or aimed at bushcrafting. I mean, it's in the name. It is a Bushcrafter for a reason. We talk about knives like the Pacific. It is designed to be a kind of tactical, ultimately, you know, multi... It's kind of designed to be a tactical survival knife for military forces. And so the SE6 is really... It is designed to be a survival knife too by trade. You know, SC makes survival knives. But what I found with actual use of the SC6 is that it is a very fantastic multi rule knife. This is a knife that you could potentially push into bushcrafting. You could definitely push into survival. You could definitely, definitely push it into scouting, into into scouting, you can push it into adventuring, you can push it into many different roles. And so for me, that's what I kind of picture as a camping knife. Camping takes so many different forms from traditional, you know, parking at a designated camping area, busting out your tent and just, you know, making some little s'mores or roasting some hot dogs over a fire to backpacking, you know, 10 miles into the wilderness and setting up shop there and uh, many different other forms of camping as well. You could do overlanding where you're taking your vehicle, you know, 20, 30 miles out into the middle of nowhere to set up your campsite. So camping is kind of a broad term and a multi-role term for me. And so that's why when I chose the SE6 for being the one camp knife, I wanted to pick hands down what would be i wanted to pick hands down what would be the most versatile or what would be the most multi-rule knife in my collection and i think that ultimately the se6 is that for me it is just a highly multi-rule knife it is a jack of all trades master of none and that's not honestly a bad thing usually when i say that it's not a good thing i don't love jack of all trades knives but the SE6 really does quite a good job at everything you push it into. It has a good thickness for batoning and doing harder work, as well being that it is six, a six inch blade or just slightly longer than six inch blade. It is a little bit shorter than the Pacific, but still has good span for doing things like batoning. Of course, being that it is 1095 high carbon, it is going to be more than durable enough to baton and do harder tasks like that. I've also done a good amount of prying on the tip of this one and on my SE3 and they hold up quite well and while if you do try hard enough you will be able to bend the tip you will not realistically be able to snap the tip on most of these blades. So you probably won't be able to snap the tip on it. In addition to that, because it has a good or solid finger choil, you can really choke up on the knife, get nice and close to this very back cutting edge and do very fine tasks such as carving, such as feather sticking. And so when you look at it, it's going to be able to push into bush, some bushcrafting and camp rolls. You're also, because this is a full tank blade, going to be able to do a good amount of natural resource processing, whether that's cutting up meat, cutting up uh, vegetables, vegetables, 
or other wild edibles, you're gonna be able to do that. You're going to be able to process things like mushrooms or other funguses quite readily with this blade geometry and setup or grind. So that is just what makes it such a versatile blade. So lastly, on top of all that, if it wasn't enough, you also are given a very versatile sheath. And while this is a larger knife, so wearing it as a neck knife or running it on a baldric rig probably isn't the most practical, you could easily strap this uh, sheath system either to your belt and run it like I do, like a scout style blade, or you could very easily strap it to a backpack and run it as a pack mounted blade. So Last but not least, it really is a, quite a comfortable knife. The handle fits me quite well, and while it's not quite as grippy as the Pacific, not quite as well sculpted to the hand as a BRK Bushcrafter, it is still plenty comfortable and very, very comfortable to hold for long periods of time without developing any types of hot spots or blisters or anything like that. So ultimately, the SE6 for me is probably one of the best multi or multi roll or do all blades. In addition to that, lastly, we'll just talk quickly about. So lastly, we'll just talk about mods. And it doesn't really look like there's been too many mods done to this knife, but that's because I tried to do a pretty good job at hiding it. So I did take the coating off of the spine of the blade and blued it so that I could strike ferro rods in a similar fashion to what I did with my Pacific. In addition to that, I did also throw a quick paracord lanyard on it just to help more for grabbing the blade or identifying the blade uh, when it's on my belt and I can't specifically see it. So those are the few modifications, nothing too crazy, but of course wanted to make it more of a versatile blade. So being able to strike ferro rods and start fires is important. So ultimately, that is the one camp knife that I would not get rid of. And really the SC6, while there are many blades, many survival slash camp knives out there that do an amazing job, the SC6 is very well proven. And for me, it really just fits my needs, fits me quite well, and is a very capable camp blade. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.